In this tutorial, we will discuss about how to write VHDL code for 2 bit magnitude comparator again using behavioral style of modeling. So, in the previous lecture, we have seen how to write code for 1 bit comparator. Now, we will see 2 bit and a 4 bit comparator circuit. Now, friends, this is well known to us. Here it is. A 2 bit comparator is basically a combinational circuit which has two inputs namely A and B. Now, the difference is a is 2 bit that means it can have values as a1 and a0 and the second input b is again 2 bit b1 and b0 so number of combinations becomes 4 and based on that we have to check whether a is greater than b the first output a is equals to b second output and a less than b as the third output so this is going to be a schematic for 2 bit comparative circuit now we'll come across its truth table as we have four input terms namely a1 a0 this indicates our first input b1 b0 second input as b now if we have four variables starting from a1 to b0 the number of combinations are going to be 60 2 raised to 4 as 60 based on that if i write the combination from 0 0 0 0 up to the last combination as 1 1 1 1 accordingly we will get whether a greater than b a is equals to b a is less than b now let us take an example of first term where a1 a0 both are 0 0 b1 b0 both are 0 that means e is equal to b so we place 1 in case of a is equals to b and 0 0 in case of a greater than b and a less than b similarly if you consider the second input condition where a1 a0 both are 0 0 that means it is a 0 and b1 b0 is 0 1 definitely b is greater than a that means a is less than b so we will place 1 across this term and if i repeat the same procedure up to the last case when we are having both Four inputs as one 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 equal becomes one greater as zero and less as c. Now based on the given conditions, we will come across how to write its VHDL code. So let us start with the first term as it is, which is going to be library which we have defined. Then we'll use the library term and the standard package is one one six four, and from that we'll use all the components. So dot all extension is used. Now we'll define the entity as comparator you can write comparator to is will come across port now we have two input terms namely a b which is an input standard logic vector whose length is 1 down to 0 so it will fetch a1 a0 b1 b0 and there are three outputs equal greater and less we'll end the entity <coughs> now we'll come across architecture behavioral of comparator is we'll initialize the statement using begin then we'll proceed to write the statement as process in bracket the formal list is a comma b let us initialize process statement so we write the statement as p now i can write the first statement as if a is greater than b so we'll use the first notation as a greater than b if this condition is satisfied definitely equal becomes zero greater as one and less is equals to c if this condition is not satisfied we'll write the second else if check a is less than b if a is less than b put equal as zero greater as 0 and less as 1 now if either a equal to b and a less than b none of the condition is satisfied finally we should come across the last condition that is else now if none of the above two conditions are satisfied definitely a will be equals to b so you can write equal as 1 greater as 0 and less as 0 so these are the three terms which you can write for greater than less than and it is going to be equal now we'll write the statement as end if we'll end the process because we have initialized the statement again as process so i can put that value as end the process also and finally we can write eight architecture so this is going to be a vhdl code for two bit comparator using behavioral style of modeling now if the question is asked to design it for three bit four bit or maybe n bit comparator circuit this entire syntax is going to be same only we have to change certain terms in the input as the vector length is going to be changed. Thank you very much.